There are two different types of lasers typically used for lip buckle and tongue tie releases. The first laser is a diode laser and the second type of laser is a CO2 laser. The laser ultimately is gonna act as a heat source. It's going to literally melt the tissue, the fascia that is that connects the muscle to the bone. And that's what's going to untether the oral tissue so that it can move properly. If the laser is not only heating up the fascia, but it's heating up a lot of the surrounding tissue, it's gonna to lead to a lot of additional trauma and scar tissue after the release is done. The preferred laser for soft tissue release is a CO2 laser. But basically the CO2 laser has a high level of specificity for the fascia that we're actually trying to cut and release. That causes it to not traumatize the surrounding tissue, which leads to less pain, less swelling, less inflammation, and ultimately a much better result without scar tissue, or at least as much scar tissue when the release is finished. The reason why many people use diode lasers is because diode lasers preceded CO2 lasers. They, at this point, are much less expensive. To give you an idea, you can pick up a pretty good diode laser for two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000, whereas getting an expensive CO2 laser will start out around fifty. Thousand can get as expensive as one hundred and twenty or thirty thousand dollars.